let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, Derek Barnett would never. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but all right, so we're going to get into the second pick now. We're getting into the Detroit Lions. So let's go. I try to put like a little sound, like, you know, their little roar. Might sound dumb, but I can't. <laughs> Woo! What is going on, everybody? My name is Malcolm Hart, and I am one of the co hosts for the Pride Podcast, your Detroit Lions podcast. And first things first, I want to thank my guys over at the Philly Philly, the podcast, for having your boy on to represent your Detroit Lions. So let me just jump right on into it with the second overall pick in the 2022 NFL draft, the Detroit Lions select. From Oregon, edge rusher, Kayvon Thibodeau. Now listen, listen, listen. I know people are like, what about Aiden Hutchinson? What about Aiden Hutchinson? Listen, listen, listen. Now, Aiden Hutchinson, he probably, going from last year in Michigan, he probably was the top-rated edge rusher performance-wise last year. But Kayvon Thibodeau, since he came to Oregon in 2019, He's been one of the he's been the best edge rusher in the country. Now you're talking about the 2019, he has 115 pressures, second among the Pac-12 edges. It's a 90% pass rusher win rate, which is first in the country. He had a 15% pr- pressure percentage, which is also first in the country. These stats right here, just stuff you just cannot deny. I mean, he has the speed, the power to be an elite dominant edge rusher in the NFL for many, many, many years to come. And this is not a knock on Aiden Hutchinson. That brother can still play. I, I still like Aiden Hutchinson, but for the Detroit Lions, I think you, if you want to have the highest upside for the edge rushers out of these two, Kayvon Thibodeau is your guy. So I am rolling with Kayvon Thibodeau and Detroit, you finally got your edge rusher. Let's get it after the quarterback. Let's go Detroit. All right, so we got Kayvon Thibodeau, the first edge rusher coming off the board. What's going on, Jalen? Uh, so the first re- edge rusher coming off the board, he kept saying, wait, 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 and it's probably because he knew I was going to say this. Aiden Hutchinson is probably the clear-cut number one. So that's very interesting that he went ahead and, and took uh, Kayvon Thibodeau. I love Kayvon Thibodeau. A lot of upside. Like he said, the, the numbers speak for itself. Very athletic, uber athletic. We're going to be able to see him kind of run, jump, and, and yell today. Hopefully, uh, he goes out there and does his thing. Hopefully, Aiden Hutch. I don't know if they opted out yet, uh, but we'll see, I guess, right? But how are you feeling about, about Mr. Kayvon Thibodeau at number two for the Detroit Lions? I mean, like you said, I mean, Aiden Hutchinson does seem to be the the clear cut. I mean, when you had you were talking to uh, your guest from PFF, he was really high on Aiden Hutchinson and said that he's just graded super well through the PFF system all year and everything like that. So, I, I mean, at this point, Detroit, they have so many holes that no matter what position that they grab, you would you'd be like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> and it's like if this is a quarterback heavy year. They probably would be drafting quarterback right now, but I mean, they did trade for Jared Goff, and if they don't grab a quarterback in the off season from trades or something, or tries to draft one right there, then they're obviously going to roll with Jared Goff and just maybe fill in the holes and try to worry about quarterback another year. And I, at the end of the day, it's it's you're you're gambling in a sense. You're like maybe Aiden Hutchinson has he reached his max? Is he going to continue to ascend in the NFL? Or do you really feel like Kayvon uh, Thibodeau, he's the one that's going to really, his ceiling's higher, and you're, he's going to really go ahead and excel at the NFL level and continue to get better and better and better. I know there was some concerns regarding, like, maybe his effort or his, like, love of the game or something. But, I mean, if you're going to go to a coach, <laughs> I feel like Campbell, I think that's his name, <laughs> in Detroit, he's a pretty lively coach, so he might be able to get something out of him. <laughs> Yeah, especially if they bring a, a real lion on the field. I'll never get over that quote if they wanted to bring a lion on the field. But no, I agree with you. And that's a very good point, honestly, because, you know, at, when you're drafting, you're not necessarily drafting for who they are, kind of who they who you expect them to be, right? So that could be what, you know, NFL teams see that you say, you know, hey, maybe this guy, you know, two, three years from now is going to be ahead of who Aiden Hutchinson is just because of that athleticism. Very, very good point. And like I was saying, I did a video earlier. I don't want to give away too, too much, but I was talking about the speed of these guys at the um, combine. Obviously, we went through most of the offensive positions. And, you know, obviously everybody looks at the wide receivers, the running backs, 
What really caught me off guard was the offensive linemen. You got some 350 pound men, uh, pound linemen, excuse me, out there running four eights, out there running, you know, crazy Insane. numbers. Like, so Insane. are these guys on the defensive line going to be able to keep up with them? Are they going to have that speed advantage like they're used to? You know, so many years we look at a Jason Pierre Paul, we look at even a Brandon Graham, if you want to keep it on the Eagles. These guys have been able to win with just pure speed at most of their time. You look at Hassan Riddick. Hassan mm -hmm. Riddick is somebody that the Eagles really want to bring on. He's been able to win with speed. So it becomes a little bit more important for these defensive linemen to be able to run a little bit quicker because <clears throat> you do have that speed opposing them on the offensive line. And I think that Kayvon Thibodeau in that regard will definitely give you that. Um, Jalen Williams says Kayvon edge three or four, depending on the day. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, I think that number two is a, a – interesting position but like you said it's you're kind of picking for the future now they are a team i do want to say i want to get this out we didn't allow anybody to trade you kind of have to just pick where you are they are a team that could definitely trade out of that spot i, I definitely would not be surprised they have a, a pick at the end of the draft obviously from the rams so who knows maybe maybe they say listen we're just going to trade out of this or maybe they just say they throw caution to the wind and say we're taking Malik Willis or we're taking Kenny Pickett, whoever we think is the best quarterback, and hell with your mock draft. You know, so we'll see what happens there. But what would you grade that pick right there? I'd give that a, a, a like a B plus. I mean, when you're in the top three, top five, it's hard to really mess that up. I mean, even the top ten. I know when we were talking last year when the Eagles were at that number six spot before trading, it was just like, all right, there's so many good players. It's really hard to mess this up and get a, get a bad grade unless you think you're going to reach for someone that could have been grabbed at the end of the first or the second round up in the top 10. So no matter who you get here, I mean, you can even say this is an A instead of just a B plus. I mean, like you said, the guy has a lot of athleticism. His, he could, his ceiling could be higher than other players. And, you need that speed. These quarterbacks, they throw the ball so fast nowadays. They're doing quick routes. And yeah. if, you, if you don't got guys that can get there fast, then you're just going to be picked apart all day. Facts. Facts. Yeah, so that would be interesting. <laughs> if they would have took Malik Willis, I, that would have been more interesting. But he, he, he went a little bit, you know, a little controversial, but not as controversial as I wanted. I wanted a quarterback. Uh, so now next we have...